Now, moving on, Fox 61 has partnered with the State Office of the Arts and the Department of Education to sponsor Connecticut Creative Futures. We have an interview every Friday where we talk to people here in Connecticut making a difference through the arts. And this morning, I'm happy to have a performer with the Justice Dance Performance Project, or JDPP, Melissa Craig. She's going to be taking the stage for a newly restaged and re-envisioned performance of Emergence at Old Newgate Prison and Copper Mine in East Granby. It's happening a week from today on Friday. A pleasure to meet you. How are you today? My pleasure, too. Thank you. I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm glad so to glad to be here. here. And I'm glad to have you here to tell people about this project. Please give us uh, the basic nuts and bolts of what's happening on Friday. Sure, sure. Um, you know, just for me, I'm really proud as a Hartford resident, native, yeah. born and raised. I teach here, I work here, I raise my family here. And I'm in three dance companies. Uh, JDPP right now is like so strong in my heart because we are doing amazing work. Yeah. Next week's show is a remount of a show we actually already did okay. at the Harriet Beecher Stowe House last year. It's called Emergence. Yes. And it's a mixture of song, dance, and spoken word telling the pains and, and really tragic moments of isolation and, uh, and incarceration. Yes. Like, Families go through it with the person and they're with it themselves. We actually have a combination of performers, mm -hmm. so ensemble members along with um, formerly incarcerated uh, members of our family. Yeah. And uh, they tell their story personally, firsthand view. Yeah, and, and it, it, it's so uh, appropriate <clears throat> that it's happening at an, an old prison, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious about the performance itself, and I always say this. I'm kind of a literal person. I understand how you can evoke emotions through music, but I've always been curious, not knowing much about dance. How mm -hmm. do you try to tell the story and, and sort of convey that feeling of helplessness and isolation through dance and through movement? Is well, that an, even an easy question to answer? I'm not sure. I think it's somewhat easy yeah. because, you know, body language is internal mm -hmm. and it's universal. Yeah. And so when you start to talk through your body and gesture and your face, the emotions, the way that you uh, breathe and connect with your audience through eye contact, the context of the music, the mood, mm -hmm. the specialness of the story that you're trying to, to tell actually yeah. comes through directly when you're, when you're dancing. Um, and the use of the spoken word and the song and the dance together right. in these pieces allows us to really get a full, whole-bodied um, image to take home with us and to hopefully be inspired to do something about what's wrong with the world, you know? Like, there's still beauty. There's still a lot of things to celebrate. Yeah. Um, and it comes through through our work. And I'm sorry, while you were talking, I was starting to look at some of oh, that video over that's there. Okay. And it made me just realize, <laughs> you, you have, they say 90% of all communication is nonverbal. That Now it right. makes sense to me. Uh, tell me about yourself, about uh, the teaching that you do. Um, shout out to the Greater Hartford Arts Academy, full shout day out. and yeah. half day programs that I teach for. Um, I know I have some students watching, and my mom's watching, so I um, love you all. What's your mom's name? My mom's Charmaine Craig, Hartford Charmaine Street Craig. Lady. Hi. Hi, Sharon. Um, so we are, I mean, me, I, I'm a collection of all these experiences. Okay. Right? JDPP is one facet of my professional life. And I love performing, and I love the opportunity to be an artist instructor at the Arts Academy, like work with kids in the day, mm -hmm. have my superman, superwoman cape on at night, and do the, the, the professional artist thing as well. Yeah. I'm also a member of Friends World Music, okay. which is an African dance uh, drum and dance company. It's a group of amazing artists. We'll be doing all kinds of stuff this weekend. Two shows for Juneteenth uh, on, at West Hartford Town Green and Blueback Square on Sunday morning and on Sunday afternoon in Hartford and Bushnell Park under the arch. So the performance schedule for me is all over the place. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad um, you took the time to get it in. Yes. And of course, while we're in. talking about uh, emergence at Old Newgate Prison, it's happening again a week from today, 3 p.m., the rain date. That's important because it is outside. would be uh, Sunday, two days after that. Anything else about the performance at, at, at Old Newgate uh, that you want people to know? Please come see it. The work is life-changing, and we put a lot of... Uh, thought and depth into it, and I think we want as many people as we can to come and enjoy all the work that we put out. So, hope to see you there. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We do appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Charmaine, again. Hi. <laughs> we are, this is what we do every Friday. We try to promote careers in the arts industry, get some of you uh, to know about the experiences that are going on out there, and we like to do it through these live arts themes interviews. They happen every Friday, 10 o'clock on the Fox 61 Morning News. No matter what kind of artist you are or what you aspire to be, you can create your own creative future. You see 
see the website right there, fox61.com slash ctarts. Go there for more information.